Hello, welcome back. Last time, Shelby helped me rescue Shelby. Uh, so let's go meet them then. How about pistons? I wanted to wake you up, Shelby, but I needed this fish to move you, and, well, she's a nice girl, <laughs> Shelby, but she's so slow. Says the snail. Well, you woke me up, Shelby, dear. That's all that's important. They have slightly different colored text. Is that the same voice actor? If it is, they're doing a different voice. Anyway, um, what number is which? We got seven and eight here. All right, so Excuse you are seven, me, you are eight. Can you tell me what happened? Well, Shelby and I were out for a walk. Starfish. These green squid-faced creatures showed up. Mm-hmm, like Squiddy. And then they shot Shelby. They shot me? Whoops. A snail of my years? Then they shot me. I was completely frozen, except for one eye stalk. I saw everything. Uh, this is obviously not what I do. I'm gonna have to reset. I wanted to wake you up, Shelby. <laughs> um, so, looks like one of these is gonna drop, the other one needs a snail on it, and then that snail can drop. One snail can just leave here. Oh, um, I can do this now, maybe after this puzzle if I remember. This is the thing I wanna try. Uh, so that's starfish. DIY, that means do it yourself. <laughs> what happened New information, after I'm sure. Shot you? Then they carted us away into their round airplane and we flew into the sky. We flew into the sky? Really? Just like in 20,000 leagues over the sea. 20,000 leagues over the sea. That's right. <laughs> they have a uh, they have a little reunion if you put them face to face. Okay, so um, I can walk the snails down like this a little bit. That seems helpful. Uh, this still isn't enough for a guppy rescue. What would be? Nothing. Did they? You Whoops, much, uh, I didn't want to do that. Sorry, I guess I won't hear the answer to that question. They didn't. I know the answer. Uh, how am I going to do this? I can go here and accomplish nothing. I have to get to the other side, okay. Uh, fine, I'll use the space bar. <laughs> I can't find the number keys of these snails without looking at them. They're way too far over to the right. Okay, so this should save Gappy. Sort of. I need both snails for this. Do I? Wait, how will that help? Wait, no. What What am I doing? Uh, perhaps she wants to lift. This will kill her, won't it? N no. Uh, because you're holding that up. Okay, so perhaps I want to lift this. Did they hurt and you then much, Shelby dear? I can uh What? When those creatures were poking you and prodding you, did they hurt you? They prodded me, did they? A, a snail, snail of my, of my ears. ears. All right, this is getting somewhere, I think. Okay, so we got something starting to almost resemble safety, but it's not there yet. Um Oh, I can lift this more. Uh, not like that. I can lift this more like that. Oh, this is very awkward. That's kind of the point. Okay, so. Now, before I drop this, this is the tool that's going they to potentially get a snail too, down here. Oh, How do you think that's going to happen, though? Oh, check it out. I can click like they that. Weren't licentious, just unpleasantly medical. Licentious. It's like I always tell you, Shelby. You can't trust doctors. What, just like in general? I wouldn't agree with that in general principle. Depends on the individual. Uh, what am I doing? 
If that snail moves, Guppy can maybe get out. Mmm, sort of. That snail needs to move to a place they can't move to. Okay. Okay. Uh... What? Shelby? What happened after these creatures <laughs> examined you? And, um, Shelby? Oh, their round airplane started making some funny noises and they landed here rather suddenly. I don't think I want that. Or maybe I do. Let's see, I can lift this, but only once. What if I put a snail under... What? Oh! Oh! Okay, you go that way. You, no, not, not that. Turn this. No, not that. Whoa! This is very awkward. Okay. Yeah, there is no comfortable way to do any of this. Alright, this snail needs to stick to that surface. Fish goes up. Snail comes here. You can hold this up for a moment. That snail goes over there and could run all the way around to here, which is probably what I want at this point. Plausible. Uh, let's just stick to that wall. Okay, here we go. I can accomplish something. You stick to that coil thing. Guppy gets out. Great. Then what? Then nothing. For one thing, these snails are kind of stuck. I can go up there. It's not helping me. I don't think I want that. So a snail has to touch the bottom of the ocean. This has no route to go down that way. Because this is a complete barrier. That... Looks rather unlikely to have a route out of uh, here. You'd have to go up there and be held and then pushed. Ah, that might be possible. I wish I could get this object a different way. Maybe, oh, check it, I can. Okay, that's good. Aha, and I think from here I have a route. Okay, uh, I put this snail here. I put this fish here, that snail goes up, holding the thing. Uh, that's insufficient. So instead... That's kind of helpful, but now you're in the way. Uh, that's okay. It'll, it'll get out of the way. Check it. There, out of the way. Now a snail walks on that, and the other one probably should do that too. Um, yeah, that's fine. You can save yourself down there, kinda. Actually, yeah, both snails can sort of just get out the bottom like this. Hmm. One snail can get out the bottom like that. Other snail's gonna have to do something different. Hold up, don't I have a problem here? Guppy can leave anytime she wants at this point. Uh, see, you, you're the problem right now. Oh, wait, no. Problem solved. Okay. Okay, we're good. Cool. You go there, and you can leave. Why don't you go ahead and get that starfish? Nice work. Mm hmm. I'm just gonna hold right, and I think the puzzle will solve itself. There we go. Okay. Finally, we're out. That wasn't so bad. Oh yes, my Shelby is very good with engines. Oh, you're very good with engines too, dear. So I think the yellow text Shelby is the first one in the list, and the first one I rescued. Orange text Shelby is the more recent one. I'm not completely sure though. Uh, right. I wanted to try something. Is it in Rescue the Other Snail? It Shelby, is. Shelby, 
Shall we wake so up? an interesting little suggestion. Since this is a puzzle where the goal is to push an object, but it's one where the characters can leave, what do you suppose happens? Oh, the puzzle just stops and doesn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> I lost all my controllable characters, but didn't win the puzzle. Okay. I think this might be the only rescue puzzle where you can actually just leave. All right. Well, that's, that's what happens. <laughs> Bonsai. I think we're almost out of this junkyard, Shelby. I hope we meet up with Flounder again soon. Right, yeah, where'd Flounder go? He hasn't been here in a little while. Uh, flower pots. Little pictures. Okay, so this is one unit. What is... It's a shelf of mugs. Bonsai trees, I see. Clippers, watering can. A very tiny, tiny one. The size of a mug. And an iron. Don't use that on your trees or flowers. They will not like it. Um, oh dear. This... Oh, uh oh Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, but I can't come down there, so I have... Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, I see what this is about. This is about pushing objects down and having a snail climb them. All right. That's what it's about. Guppy can never go down into this one. Or this one. Or this one. Okay. What? Then how's that snail climbing out? Did you dye your dorsal fin? Um, no. I didn't think so. It looks so natural. What am I doing here? Okay, which is this? Is this yellow text Shelby? The first one, I think? Um, wait, hang on. You have something to ride, so you can just get to the next stage of this as it is. That's not a problem. Yes? If I wanted to, I could rescue these clippers to a place where they'll be potentially usable in the future. For this, it looks like I need a... Just those would do. Uh, the cactus, however, will seal the door shut. If I pushed these in, it'd be enough. <laughs> I think I've already basically have that starfish, right? Just push this over. Unless I'm going to need this later in the puzzle, which I probably will. Maybe not, though. Maybe somehow this will just work out. Good Link. work, Shelby. You got the starfish. Oh. oh Oops, no. I interrupted you. It was on my way. <laughs> All right, well, you can be there. We can do this. And... Isn't everything fine? Almost but not quite. I'm gonna do this and hope it's a good idea. I don't think it is. That might be. Hmm. Mm -mm. That's no good. What do I need to do here exactly? I mean, this pipe has to drop. The only way that's going to happen is if this moves to the right, but how's that going to happen? Did I need you as a lever? Maybe. So, you're telling me that the arrangement I need is flower pot here and here, snail stuck to the floor here? I think that's what you're telling me. And it would have been real nice to have the clippers for that, but I used them to get the starfish. Okay. Was there something else I was supposed to do with this picture? Like what? I could drop it there. I don't see how that would help me. Um... Okay, here's an idea. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I can make that idea work. I thought, oh, no, not quite. Flower still drops. 
Can I elevate this cactus in a way that makes this work? I'm not completely certain I can't. I'm reasonably certain though, because how would that happen? Wait, what if you Did were you die here? Dorsal thing? Nope. Um, no. I didn't think so. It looks so natural. This is not helping me. Why did I want? It's hard to tell. Well, I want this flower here for leverage. Um, then what? Then I have an overhang enough here for a snail to let me pull that out one more and then die. Therefore, the flower needs to prop it up. Maybe. Plausible. Yeah, so basically I think if I have this flower pot, I'm good here. I can do that. Can the snail walk all the way around? Yes. There we go. That's the solution. I always got to remember the idea of the snail walking all the way around. I love all the little animations for going, like, around corners and stuff. That little whatever the organ is on a snail that does the locomotion. Uh, just flexes around and does the thing. Okay, this looks good. Uh, are you sure about that? How's this ever getting elevated? Huh. Well, maybe it doesn't need to. Snail lever. Okay, no, no, no. This is uh, this is fine. Everything's good. I put this here as a support. I put this here as a lever. I do that. I get Guppy out of the way. And nothing. Still no good. If Shelby's here, maybe that could work. Yeah, why not? That should be fine. Indestructible snail. Strong enough to hold up a pipe. I think we're good. Cool. No, Guppy's not out. Wait. Uh... What? If Flounder were here, he could help us move that steel pipe. But he's not. Wait, no, something's very wrong here. How does Guppy ever get out? Oh, we got some issues here. This is not what I thought it was. But... What? That's the only way for this to move down, isn't it? It seems to me like it categorically rules out... Uh what I want to do. What are you saying to me? I'm kind of looking at ways to, like, push this to the right while the snail's anchored there, stopping the steel pipe from falling, but that's not going to happen. Like, at this point, Guppy can't go through there. I love bonsai. You're a gardener, Shelby? A gourmand. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so there is still the option of moving this back once it's here. Can that be helpful in some way? It's hard to imagine how. That just seems like it's made everything worse. No, really, what? Hold on, like, just conceptually. How does Guppy get past the steel pipe? She will have to... I mean, the only possible route I'm seeing... Yeah, only possible route I'm seeing, because I have no objects of the appropriate shape, unless I needed to bring this all the way over. 
Oh no, did I need to bring that all the way over? No, I don't think so. Wait, hang on. Could I drop this, Shelby to the other side, and... something? Maybe. <laughs> yes, I get the idea. <laughs> uh, what would that look like? Not convinced that's not viable. Um, except the flower pot there. Yes, I am. So I was thinking this, but oh, oh, it's good. It's good. It's fine. Okay, there we go. That was all it took. Okay, <laughs> just could not see that route for some reason. Okay, there we go. That's fine. I was looking for, for ways to get Guppy, like, up here, and then release this somehow, but Shelby can't push things. Can only stick. So, um, which Shelby are you? Yeah. <laughs> which Shelby? <laughs> it's Shelby, of course. Dump Snowman. D Dump Snowman? There we go. Guppy the agent was a jolly happy soul. Virgil has a song for us. Uh... Oh boy, a starfish. Oh yeah, and I got one of those and haven't checked the reward yet. Um, okay, so I have no memory of this. Snowmen, huh? But they're not ice blocks. We haven't met those yet. That'll happen at Ross Ice Shelf. Later in the story. This is a broom, all covered with snow. Uh, okay, Virgil's here. Here's a starfish. Virgil must exit. Could hey, be on Guppy's back. hurry up back. and put me back on my body. Who's talking? What are you talking about? That's my body. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, snowmen want to be reconstructed. Um, Virgil's holding those heads up, which seems like a possibly good thing. This... Those need to go down... No, wait, you... That's one object. These holes need to be filled. Because you need to get out of the way of that broom, and the only way you're going to do that is from right to left. I don't think there are enough bodies for all of us. You're the one talking. No, there are not. There's only one body that doesn't have a head. Uh, all right, well, what if I put one on, on, on there? <laughs> Let's try it, just so I know what happens. Uh, uh, if I can manage to make that happen. I'm not sure quite how I would do that, actually. Um, switching sides in a situation like this. Could I have approached from the other angle? Mm. Maybe, sort of? Well, okay, if I, if I did this? This isn't what I want to do, I just want to see if there's dialogue. Here you go. There is not. Okay, <laughs> now I know. Goopy. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so if I sacrificed both of these, you could be the thing that allows that to get through if I wanted that for some reason. If a two tall thing is more valuable than one talls, but I need... Uh, there's a head here. I could imagine it making the journey all the way over. Not with you, though. So by losing this... If I'm parsing this right, it does kind of look at a glance like I can just lose these two heads and still have three that can all fill pits and get this done with no fuss, right? That's what it looks like to me. Let's try it. So just like, ditch this over here. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, is like, wh where's the issue? Goopy, the agent. Yes, what? I already heard your song. Once, yes, once was roll. enough. Uh, okay, there is an issue here in that I can't get to the other side of that to push it with my fish. Alright, that's a problem. And Virgil can't do it from there, that's not enough leverage. Okay, so you will not uh, function that way. 
And down this route is the only way you're getting to the other side of that. Okay. So I needed at least one of those? Is that what you're saying to me? So how Are many... Are you sure your cousin said there was a flying saucer here? Well, well, what he said was that a giant hubcap crashed into the junkyard. But I'm sure that means he saw a flying saucer. How would this help me? I don't think it would. Can I just ditch it in the pit and take these two? Yeah, wait, why did I... Why did I get this out only to discard it? Let's just ignore that. Um, I'll get one of these, since I don't think I can get both, and I don't think I need both. This I'm pretty one sure that's plenty, my right? body. Its buttons match my eyes. So do this to get Virgil on Guppy with the ability to push stuff. Okay, that's nice. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. Uh, but you. Well, if Virgil's the one to push it, maybe I can work with that. Heads will roll. <laughs> really now? Am I going to have a problem here now that I've done that? Yes. Okay. That's why. Uh, okay, so let's go back and do it that Are way. Are you sure you're... Uh, so sacrifice both of these. Sacrifice this, since there's actually nothing in particular to do with it, I think. Maybe there would be, but maybe not. So, Virgil, stand there. Copy to this. Heads will roll. Virgil, come here. Get ready to mount a fish. And that's a problem, isn't it? Looks like it to me. Yes, I know. Didn't those both need to go in here for this to work? Like, I need enough room for her to get through, which I can just do, like this. But then Virgil, well, yeah, he climbs over her back. Yeah, there's no problem here, right? I don't think there is. This seems straightforward. Uh, wrong side. That's probably fixable. It is. Uh, is it? Yes. If those objects are not important, I can just do this. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. Oh, there's a pit there. I didn't spot the pit somehow. How didn't I see this pit? Of course. Okay, that makes sense. So, why don't these snowmen melt underwater? Virgil, they're plastic. Oh. All right, so... Are you it. sure your cousin said there was a flying saucer here? Well... Okay. Um, I actually want this direction of push, and that's all that's required to get over this pit, right? Might as well do this part now. Make sure there aren't any other confounding issues here. There might be some. I don't think there are. That seems straightforward enough. Another you push that a little further. Just take matter count, real <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Let's take his body. Sounds good to me. Uh, yes, that's what I want. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. And I think I'm done. This was simple. I'm probably still missing something. That's how it tends to go in these puzzles. I did that fast enough you couldn't say it a second time. Neat. Now, what have I misparsed? <laughs> What's going to cause me to press the restart key again? There's usually something, but maybe not this time. Because this looks like a repeatable pattern. Yeah, I have my, uh, I have all I need for the ending, right? I think so. All right. Cool. Heads will roll. So all I gotta do is elevate Virgil up here. And just kind of push stuff. Hey, look at that perfectly shaped hole for us. 
Uh, now, hold up. Okay, so I have I to do this. There are enough bodies for all of us. Am I still good here? Uh, ye yes. I sure am. Sorry, Snowman, I can't solve your problems. You're gonna have to do that yourselves. Ah, we got the starfish. We sure did. Hey, did you let them get the starfish? <laughs> you didn't guard it very well. You tried. I appreciate that. All right, so uh, let's check rewards. What's here? How the mission's graphics evolved. Okay, so we got a thing to look at. Uh, is it this? I guess so. Is the very fist mission created in the fish fillet's editor. No fish, just blocks. There wasn't even a save function. Okay. So it was screenshotted. You had to take a screenshot and then re-put down all the everything. Okay, so I guess this was just like a concept of how to move the blocks around. Just imagine the fish are there. I'm guessing those are steel pipes. Okay, so this would be a flounder space. All right, I can parse this. I don't think I ever went through this activity before. This is... Are you telling me that this is relevant somehow? What I'm seeing here is, if Guppy's down here, she has a space all to herself to do nothing but just, like, mess with some stuff around. Like, what was this supposed to be? If Flounder is up here, he can just leave. If Guppy's down here, she can just leave. Yeah, I don't see the puzzle here. Did Guppy spawn here or something? Then what's this space about? Maybe Virgil was in the puzzle. Okay, maybe Virgil was in the puzzle. And he needed to rescue himself by pushing some stuff over. Okay, so if there's a Virgil down here, he could rescue himself by just pushing this to the right, then pushing that, backing up, pushing that, and he'd have two things he could just climb out. If Guppy is up here... She has a problem because Flounder takes up all the space holding up this pipe. Perhaps her mission is to build a prop while Flounder is most of the way out of the puzzle, but he can't stay, like, with just his tail hanging in the puzzle. If he goes out, then he's... Okay, so, since I don't know where the fish are, I can't really speculatively solve this. Alright, I did what I could. Okay, so it was a Flounder and Virgil puzzle. Neat. Okay, so he got, like, fancy auto-tiling and stuff. Like, look at the complexity of how these are all put together. That is not some simple auto-tiling. Uh, okay, so that's where Flounder starts. Can I go back? No, I can only go forward. Alright, fish and crabs are animated now. There are more graphics. This looks final, as far as I can tell. And there's a starfish there! That wasn't a... Okay, so starfish for Virgil, which in order to get, he needs another one-by-one one object to be dropped down here, okay? Which one can escape? N none of them. Therefore, he needs a two-by-one, but a two-by-one doesn't do it. Therefore, I have no idea how to do this. Oh, there's one. I didn't see you. Okay, so you would have to come down here in order to provide a platform up to there. These on their own could provide a platform up to there and the other half of the one here. So that's how Virgil would get the starfish. Flounder drops this, which blocks up that space. He drops this, which Virgil has to save him from somehow uh, without trapping himself there. Okay, there are complications here. I wonder if this is going to be playable at some point, or maybe this is an actual level that I'll encounter later. Yeah, probably either that, or this will be available in the bonus levels somewhere. Gun interface, there we go. This level was moved to the junkyard chapter. It was? So this must be on the flounder route. Okay, this is a mission that I'm going to be playing next time. It was like one of the only other ones in the junkyards. I guess. Okay, so I guess I will get to do this very shortly. <laughs> How appropriate. Ta-da, Pearls in the Junk. Final version as you can play it now. Neat, okay. Where is that? Pearls of Wisdom. 
Okay, one of these could be Pearls of Junk, but that sounds like Pearls of Wisdom. I think that's the exact puzzle I'm going to be playing next time. That's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, and we got one Jigsaw to do. Two Jigsaws to do. Alright, it's Jigsaw time. Those of you who don't like these, see you next time. Those of you who do, here we go. Uh, King Crab is here somewhere in his office, maybe? Yeah, I see the picture of him, presumably in the office. Uh, text, always good to get together early-ish. That's not how the text goes. That looks like carpet at the bottom, so I'm guessing text is in lower left or lower right corner. Based on the perspective, I'm thinking lower right. That's part of a chair? Okay, this is part of a painting. This is part of a picture frame and a painting. Wait, no, maybe it's a photograph. No, that's clearly a painting. I can see the brush strokes and stuff. Uh, you go here. Now, what's this piece of furniture? Uh, King Crab at his desk. P picture obviously goes high up somewhere. Um, you join together. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna work in this furniture so I know if, I know if this is lower left or lower right. This carpet pattern will help me. I think it at least goes that far over. Maybe even this far over. Or not. Okay, so this pattern's going that way. Yeah, I think it does go that far over, actually. Yeah, this piece goes here. Got it. Okay, so I have full width on the bottom, I believe. Uh, I see curtains and stuff. Those are crab knees and an eye. Well, a crab knee and an eye. You... I don't know exactly where you are in this puzzle. Uh, ah, ah, sure. Uh, curtains and stuff. Not sure how those connect to everything, and I've just kind of made my job harder, haven't I? Uh, why, 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 why not? <laughs> okay, there we go. Those joined up. That'll help me. Um, can I see any part of your painting? Here's some curtains, but those are not the same ones, are they? No. Uh, there's a chest or two. Unless that's... No, that's part of your armchair, isn't it? Yes. But then what's this? The other arm, of course. Uh, there's one little tiny part of your... There's your ashtray. If that is indeed what that is, it's probably not, but it could be. Uh, that's part of a chair right there. Curtains, I, I don't know where you go. Painting, you've got to be like in one of these corners somewhere. Well, that joined. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. Uh, don't know what piece of furniture this is. I, oh, those curtains joined there. The one spot I didn't try, of course. All right. Um, that's on the floor. Uh, here? Here. That's on the floor, part of the table. All right, so a little plant. There we go. And the rest of this is fairly indistinct. Hard to tell what anything is. Okay, that's that, but it must go here. That's part of the lamp. I don't know what I'm looking at with these. Just something, that apparently. That has carpet on it. You must go here. There's one more piece with a tiny bit of carpet on it. This one. No. Uh, too little to see. I guess this much. Okay. Wood paneling. I don't see it. Is it you? No. That goes here. Is it you? No. What's this piece? Is it you? No. Is it you? Yes. Okay. Side of a lamp. And there we go. All right. King Crab in his office. Those are totally styled to look like the tops of treasure chests, aren't they? That's what I thought they were at first. Alright, next. Hey, it's a baby seahorse. Yet to be named in this story. We'll get there, though. Uh... 
Okay, there we go. That's your chubby little cheek. Here's some text. There's some more text. Okay, that text looks to be at the top, maybe? It's hard to tell. Okay, these pieces clearly join up in some way. Not that way. There's more. There's more. There's still more. There we go. Uh, that's totally part of a, a seahorse head, isn't it? That's his pacifier, I think. What's this? That's his hair. Or whatever anatomical structure that is. I guess you're at the edge because there's no... Uh, or you're peeking around the side of that. That's what's happening. This is the lower right corner. Or so. Something like that. Alright, that joins there. Yes, okay, that's full width. Great. Uh... All right, so like dark greenish and gray stuff there. Brown things other side. Okay, so now it's just a matter of shuffling these around until they all join, pretty much. Uh, so very dark stuff on top. There we go. Lighter stuff down at the bottom. Neat, okay. Uh, that looks sandy, so very light stuff at the top here. And then this, I can follow the line of the sand a little bit. Then the rest of this is just wood grain. Which is unparsable, but I can just move the pieces around until they fit. Shouldn't this work eventually? Shouldn't this perform all the swaps? Ah, yes, but this goes here. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, next time, I guess we'll get to see what the interactive version of that uh, mission we saw was. I'll see you then.